just looks like the biggest golden snail. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So as you can see by the title and thumbnail, I did get snails. I got one for the 10 gallon and I got one for the 30 gallon. So without any further ado, let's go and jump right into this. As you can see, today I am getting snails and crickets. The crickets aren't really part of the thumbnail. And yeah, the crickets are for chip, but the snails are going in the 10 and the 30. I'm getting a gold mystery snail for the 10 gallon, and I'm getting a blue mystery snail for the 30 gallon. So like the gold one kind of uh, matches with the 10 gallon because it's like a yellow tank. And then um, the other one just kind of blends in because it's like a native brown green theme. So anyway, let's get these snails bagged up. Before we do that, I, I was thinking about getting one of these little dwarf African frogs for the uh, 10 gallon. But I don't know if the cichlid would pick a fight with one of these or just try eating them. Anyway, let's get these snails. Okay. And then one of the gold ones. Okay. Oh, that's a nice big one there. Okay. Just look at the biggest golden snail. Okay, you know how I said I was gonna put the blue brownish one into this tank? Well, I'm actually changing it. I'm putting the brown one in here and the gold one in this tank. The gold one will kind of add color and I mean, it'd be good. I do have to separate the two because they're in the same bag. I forgot to ask if she can like put them in two different bags. So, and my phone's. <laughs> like about to die it's literally charging as i'm filming but um i have to get them separated so i'm gonna do that off camera but i'm gonna pick up my phone whenever um you know like once they're done acclimating so i'll see you in like 15 minutes and i'm gonna play a spongebob thing because it's like snails spongebob uh, okay 15 minutes later it's 15 minutes later and i am ready i'm getting this snail out first just because wait anyway i like this snail much more so i think i'm gonna save that for the finale but I, I know i am anyway um i'm just gonna dump it into a little bucket this little pitcher then i'm gonna get the snail in by hand here the snails in here so i'm gonna drop this bucket i mean this bag down into the bucket dump this out Snails stuck in the bag. Wow, this thing feels weird. Here he is. Just drop him in. Holy crud, he just lands on that. Wow, this is a little blue mystery snail. That thing's dope. Much bigger than I thought he would be. But you know. <laughs> it seems like it would be painful just landing on these spiky little grass. But anyway. Onto this gold one, but first, actually, I want to say I want to name. I'm naming this guy uh, Gary because you know SpongeBob thing. So um, this is Gary. Y'all are gonna name this one, and this is gonna be a little more tricky because I don't. I, I think these fish right here sitting in the bass. I don't know what thing would hurt this gold snail, and it's literally the same process for this snail. Like I, I did dump the water out, so it's like not mixing temperatures because then the acclimation would become useless but i'm just going to grab this guy out. but here is our snail i am actually going to place him down here onto the rock wow he literally looks like a cheetah maybe that should be his name cheetah wow very pretty very very pretty Definitely add some color on this thing. It literally looks like a carrot and a Cheeto mix. We should just check it out. But this tank, look, ooh, I just did a water change today and this thing is crystal clear. Like, look, you can literally see into Chip's cage. But there is crickets I'm going to be putting in Chip's cage for awesome feeding. Okay, I got the bag right here. Chip's already spotting one. Oh! Oh! 
You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna take one and feed it to one of the fish in the 30 gallon. Chip down there is straight munching. There's some, there's a cricket right there. Can you get it, Chip? He's just swollen. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, and the camera was blurry. Bubba, he was focusing on this beautiful plant. Maybe because how pretty it is. Soon I'm going full live. As y'all know, this is artificial make for live, but soon I'm going full live. It is going to be epic. There's a little, one of the little snails, but I did catch a cricket. There's the little orange one. Very, very pretty. This is a golden mystery snail. And that one in there is a blue mystery snail. But I did a water change. Of Cindy might be a little stressed out. Let's see if this little sunfish will eat a cricket or the bass. I don't know which one. Oh, there, there it goes. Who? And that cricket is gone. Sydney absolutely loves her variety of foods. She gets crickets, worms, fish, you know, grubs, just random insects I found in the yard. But this tank, gold. Little blue snail. This is Gary the snail. And I want y'all to comment a name for this little golden one. This, this thing's very pretty, especially in this lighting. I don't like, oh, it is. <laughs> I can't even express how pretty this thing is, but it's a very beautiful snail. So comment down below a name like carrot, cheeto, whatever, because it's like an orange gold color. And she just got another cricket. Okay, good. And that is gonna wrap up today's video. I hope y'all enjoy it. And uh, like I said, uh, multiple times before, drop a name for the new golden snail and uh, I will see y'all next video. Stay chipping y'all. Everyone has a SpongeBob house. You look like the SpongeBob house.